So guys, the Tinobu's government is asking Nigerians to persevere the hunger that is in the land, but none of them is willing to give up their pension. It has been revealed that the amount of money these people collect as ex-governors is something outrageous. Nigerians, it is something if you hear it, your ears will tingle. So you can imagine somebody who is the president of the current president of Nigeria. He was an ex-governor. He was an ex-senator. And from all these positions, you know, he still gets his pension. And now he said he still wants to become president so that he will get generational wealth from the poor masses you can imagine that it is the poor nigerians who pay these taxes and they feed off the blood of the people so as things are now none of them is thinking of saying oh okay stop giving me pension let me just let me just make do with what i collect as president or as governor none of them so guys the latest thing happening in governor otis government is that he has cancelled the pension that is being collected by the ex-governors of the states and the deputy governors and as he stands now his spokesperson have said oti is not targeting anybody because oti knows that in times to come he himself will, will become an ex-governor so he's not targeting anybody the ex-president of nigeria olu shegon has praised him for for the courage to take that bold step let me allow you listen to what he told him when he visited ot and not just visiting him he gave him an award for the amazing work ot is doing just take a look at this former president Ulusha gobasanjo has commended the governor of abia state dr alex Oti, for assenting to a bill repealing the law that created pensions and allowances for former governors and deputy governors enacted by the immediate past administration. The former president made the commendation during a courtesy visit to the governor's country home in Umbosi, Isialangwa, South local government area. He asked other state governors to follow Governor Oti's example in repealing the law, which he describes as criminal and daylight robbery. The pension scheme for former governors here is atrocious. It's like daylight robbery. Because it allows them to have a house in Abuja and elsewhere and cut away with whatever they feel like cutting away. And yet, the pension for ordinary people are unpaid. What sort of leadership is that? And you came and you say there will be an end to that drastically. I congratulate you. And I say to you, I hope some of your colleagues will follow your footsteps. And I do hope some of them will follow your footsteps. You have started, but you should never be tired. You will be discouraged. You will be abused. You will be called names. But if we have one third of our states doing what should be done, this country will become Responding, Governor Oti thanked the former president for visiting and sharing his experience in governance and for supporting his action. I didn't know infrastructure is power. Uh, in fact, it's the most important uh, infrastructure for uh, industrialization, production, manufacturing, and even the small, uh, medium, small and medium scale enterprises. So. I want to also thank you for supporting the decision uh, to repeal uh, the pension law for former governors and former deputy governors. Um, I had said yesterday as I signed uh, the law, the, the bill into law, that um, I strongly believe that leadership uh, is still worship. And if you've come to serve the people, you can't at the same time be fleecing the people. I agree with you completely on your comment about infrastructure. That's why we are very focused and single-minded at developing infrastructure, particularly for ABA, which is the commercial and industrial hub of the state and actually the southeast. Still in Abia, Dr. Alex Oti has flagged off the reconstruction of the long-abandoned 30-kilometer Arochuku Ndiokiriki Ozoabam Road. Speaking up during the flag of exercise at the Amuvi Roundabout, Dr. Alex Oti said the project, along with the Umwahia Zoakoli Ohafia Road, 
is a testament to the OT-led administration's commitment to removing barriers that hinder the people's potential and economic prosperity. Yes, there's no, in fact, in America, there's no office called Office of First Lady. It exists in name. And for the purpose of accompanying the president to trips, not just to have an office created with enormous budgets that are even beyond critical areas of development. No, you cannot entertain people. In America, if the president chooses today to entertain guests, he will pay for the food. If he chooses to have different dishes, he will pay for it. So he can decide, ah, my wife is going to have uh, this, uh, we're going to have lo this type of fish from Japan. At the end of the month, he has to pay for it. So these things don't happen. You don't have renovations of, of different houses for the president. You know, if the president of America goes to New York today, he stays in a hotel. I've accompanied the president to cheap in the past. A hotel, is, the president of America was staying in a hotel. So these are issues. So we must look at what suits us. Again, look at how we can manage our own expense and everything. So what about Andrew is saying that we must not adopt this and even adopt it wrongly as we are doing it today. The last one was an issue of moving towards one party. That is the disaster. And it can be salvaged again by the same everybody coming together. Not just now political parties, but civil society. The people must so guys this is what peter will be keep talking about you know the cost of governance in nigeria the cost of governance the politicians are the one milking the country they are the one milking nigeria and they tell the masses the poor masses who are struggling to survive they will still tell you to to persevere while they are sucking off the blood of the people so guys this is what peter will be keep saying that the cost of governance must be brought down if nigeria really wants to survive you can imagine being an ex-governor is another cartel of you know will i call it a criminal gang of people who who served as government officials they will serve only for eight years and they will take amounts of money that even the government officials who served for 35 years will never see all the days of their lives so guys something is wrong in our nigerian system and that is what these politicians especially those under the apc government they are not willing to change that is why they don't want to give Peter Obi any space because if Peter Obi comes in, he's going to change all this. Peter Obi is not ready for all this reckless style of you know spending that we are seeing in the Nigerian government. And I tell you, things must change if we really want to move forward as a country. We can't just allow ourselves to be dragged by these few individuals who do not even have conscience. Sometimes one keeps wondering if they even remember that one day they will die and all this wealth that they've acquired will be will be left behind them so guys let me know what you think about all this in the comment section below please don't forget to subscribe to the channel turn on the notification bell please give this video a like so that youtube can recommend it to others and drop your thoughts in the comment section below thank you